This isn't a snowy field, this is a massive lake. We're standing on top of 30 feet of water, 18 inches of ice. We're doing some ice fishing. And fishermen say the best way to find out if you're going to get a good catch is to check the barometer. On a cold winter day, you can find anglers on Lake Minnetonka near Minneapolis, Minnesota. We met up with Ryan Jacobov and Ryan Thompson. The colder you can get, the better for us because it uh, really eliminates the amount of uh, uh, people that come out here, so it leaves more fish for us. Even at temperatures below zero. 18 inches of ice I measured from my, uh, the tips of my fingers to my elbow just about 20 minutes ago, and it's solid. Fishermen are drilling holes into the ice looking for a big catch. As long as temperatures are below 32 degrees for an extended period of time, a large lake will freeze over. Once the ice is thick enough, fishermen will head out on it, as fishermen need four inches of ice to walk on the lake. Less than two inches isn't safe. Five inches to snowmobile, eight to 12 inches for a small car, and more than a foot of ice for a truck. Since the ice can withstand so much weight, fishermen can set up ice houses on the ice with heaters inside. Oh, in there it's probably, it'll get up around 70, maybe 75. You leave that heater blowing real hard, uh, insulate the bottom of your, your tent really well, uh, uh, you can get up to 80, 90 degrees in there. That means inside the ice house, it's a balmy day. You know, you can look out and uh, see one, uh, uh, one season and then uh, go back in and uh, be in another. But ice fishing isn't as simple as finding a place to sit and a hole in the ice to cast a line. We're looking for falling pressures or rising pressures. Air pressure often determines where fish will be in the water. The weight of the air pressing down on the Earth's surface, water and on the air below, is what causes air pressure. It's measured with a barometer. Pressures have a big effect on any type of fishing that you do. Uh, reason for it is that uh, fish have a swim bladder inside of them. A swim bladder is a sac that helps control a fish's buoyancy. Fishermen believe that the bladder is sensitive to pressure changes. Extremes of pressure changes make fish feel uncomfortable, kind of like when you have a stomach ache. When the barometric pressure is high, fish move up to more shallow water because less water above them relieves the pressure on their swim bladder. But when the barometric pressure drops as a storm moves in, fish need to have more water above them to balance out the pressure being put on their swim bladders. That's why some fishermen say an incoming snowstorm, which is driven by low pressure, is one of the best times to go ice fishing. The wind out of the south blows a bait in the fish's mouth. Depending on whether the barometer says high or low pressure, fishermen know when to drop their lines beneath the surface, hoping a hungry fish takes the bait. So if you want a good catch, it's actually best to go out when the biggest storm's coming in. For Weatherbug, I'm meteorologist Bass Groggins.